God created the world. He made the sun, the moon, and the star. He spirited the water from the land. He built the mountain and the forest. He made different kinds of plants and flowers. He created them in different sizes, shapes, and color. He also made all the animals, big and small. He created the fish that will swim in the sea, and bird that could fly in the sky. He created small insects that could fly and crawl. He was very pleased with whatever he had created. Then after he created everything, he felt he needed somebody who would look after his creation. He then created the first man from the mood. He breathed life into him and named him Adam. Where am I? Who are you? You are in my garden, the garden of Eden. I'm your creator, your lord. You can live in my garden all your life. You'll enjoy all the beautiful things I created for you and take care of them. That's nice, but how did I get here? You are here because I choose to have you here. You have been created in my likeness. You have power over everything I have created on earth. You are the master of everything and you will take care of them like your own. This is my wish and my desire. I am so hungry. Can I have something to eat? My garden is filled with trees and plant with the most delicious fruit of all kinds. You are free to eat the fruits of any tree here, except for the tree that stands in the middle of the garden. That tree is called the tree of knowledge. If you eat the fruit, you will die. God had created everything from the trees, the plants, the animal, and the bird, but he had not named. So, he asked Adam to name them. Adam named them one by one. Adam felt alone, nothing the God had created called be partner, so God made Evie. One day, when Adam was sleeping, he created Eve out of his right. Eve proved to be the right companion for Adam. Of all the creatures that God created on earth, the snake was the most evil and clever of them all. One day, when Adam was standing the garden, the snake went over to Eve and started talking to her. Hello, Eve. Hello, who are you? I have never seen any animals speak here. Oh, I have been in this garden before you and Adam came along. None of the animals talk because they believe Adam to be the master of them all. So they are afraid to ask. God only speak to you. He loves you more than any of us. Oh, I see. And you are not afraid? No, I'm not. I think you are good and kind. I'm amazed by your knowledge and your strength. I can see why God made you in His image. Okay, that's nice. So, what was in that you want to ask me? I was just wondering. You eat every fruit from this garden except the one from the tree in the middle of the garden. What is that? Adam told me that God has told us to not eat the fruit of that tree. He said, if we eat that fruit, we will die. I don't think that is true. I think God knows that if you eat the fruit from that tree, he will become wiser and stronger, more like God. I don't know about that. The fruit sure look tasty and smell good too. Yes, yes, it looks amazing. 
and I am sure it tasted better than anything you have had before. But I wonder if I don't think anything will go wrong if you eat. Go ahead, try it. It sure is a wonderful day. I found a new kind of fruit in the garden today. I think I will call it a melon. That's great! I like the way your name this fruit. Adam, I wonder why God asked not to eat this fruit. They look so nice and plump and they smell good too. I don't know if, but God said we won't be if we eat it. We should listen to what he said. I think that's not true. If this fruit was so poisonous and bad, why would he put it in the middle of the garden, right where we can pluck it? I'm sure it's some kind of a tree. Anyway, why do you worry so much? We have so many other fruits that we can eat when God gives us this warning. There should be some reason behind it. We should just stay away from it. Hmm, yes, but I don't think it's worth hard to take a little nibble. Would it? I would love to know how it tasted. I don't think God going to notice. Saying so, F stood up and plucked the bright red sinew fruit from the tree of knowledge. She looked at it, admiring its beauty. She then looked at Adam and took a bite from the fruit. She then gave the fruit to Adam and asked him to take a bit as well. Adam took a bit from it. He smiled at Eve. Together, they finished the fruit. Adam and Eve were sleeping under the tree in the center of the garden when they heard God's voice. When they wake up, they were afraid. They felt guilty and full of shame. They tried to hide themselves behind the bus. Adam, where are you? If, why are you trying to hide from me? Sorry, my God, we are naked and we wish to cover ourselves. But, how did you know that you are naked? You were naked before and you were never a smith. Why do you have such a feeling now? I don't know, God. Did you eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge in the center of the garden? The one I told you not to eat from. Forgive me, my God. F give it to me. I ate it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're my God. F, why did you do this? God, the snake tricked me into eating it. I was confused. I did not know what I was doing. I'm sorry, my God. I give you everything that you would possibly need. Anything that you heard will desire is available in this garden. I give you only one rule to follow. But you deserve it me. You have but fouled me. Forgive us. Forgive us, my Lord. We will not make any more mistake. Forgive us this one last time. We were answer of the consequence. We told it was just another tree. It was not my fault. I was snake that confused us. The snake will get his share of punishment. That does not mean you are free from the consequence of disobeying me. Why did you find it so difficult to follow just one rule? You had everything else in this garden for yourself. No. Once you have eaten the fruit of the tree of knowledge, 
you can longer stay in the Garden of Eden. You know know what is wrong and what is right. You must leave the garden at once and live the rest of your life on earth. But what will we do there, my lord? You will have to work hard, suffer, and grow your food from the soil of the earth. You will suffer pain and sadness, and finally one day, you must die. That is your punishment. No go! Adam and Eve disobeyed God, and they were cast out of the Garden of Eden. They now had to very work hard to grow food. They had to build a house for shelter, and they eventually were going to die. They could have lived in the paradise forever if they had obeyed God's rule.